This is uh, Rodney Strong Vineyards, Cabernet Sauvignon, Alexander's Crown Vineyard, 2005. And the Alexander's Crown Vineyard is in Alexander Valley in Sonoma. Um, so this is a wine that has a pretty good history. Um, its first vintage in 1974, it was the first uh, single vineyard wine from Sonoma County. This vineyard is um, in Alexander Valley, which is basically a, a, a really warm climate area for Sonoma. But it's at the higher altitude. Um, and so it's actually a cool vineyard um, for this warm climate region. And so the grapes actually develop a little more um, complexity and a little more unique flavors. Um, the vineyard is actually uh, a, a mixture of different um, exposures and soil types and even different, they use different clones in the various parts of the vineyard and they um, harvest each section separately, vinify it all separately and then blend it together, all Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon but it's, a, it's actually a blend. Um, from all the different parts of the vineyard because they all impart their own unique character. Uh, the wine is aged for 20 months in primarily French oak and the um, you know French oak usually has a more subtle uh, effect on wine than American oak will. So it balances with the fruit flavors and uh, integrates well with, uh, within the whole, um, well, it integrates well with all the flavors that the grapes bring. Now, the um, other nice thing about this is 05 vintage, great vintage, but also it's got a couple of years of bottle age. So this wine is showing some really nice development and the nose has some um, unique sort of um, mature aromas to it. I get some uh, like black olive notes, some sort of um, leathery notes, more sort of Bordeaux style, but kinds of things that come up with a little bit of age um, as those bright fruity notes sort of fall a little bit to the background. Mm. A little bit of a smoky note on there. get a lot of, uh, definitely some cassis on here too. So let's give this a try. This wine is a really supple, elegant, pretty, um, really nice fruit notes, black currant, um, black olive, black cherry. I get some nice tobacco-y notes, sort of lingering. Um, it, it definitely reminds me of a Bordeaux. Uh, it's very well integrated. The tannins are so soft and supple. It's really ready to drink now. Uh, this is a wine that's um, sort of been around and sort of, I don't know, in some ways I think it's kind of been forgotten because it really does deliver, you know, every, every time I've tasted it, every vintage I've had it, I've really found it to be um, very engaging, good quality, and unique, and um, something you ought to try. Enjoy. <laughs> 